every week, I have a co-host <laughs> who basically has to communicate while chewing his food at the same time. This week, to take up that challenge, is the lovely Tony Flattery. Tony, uh, what are you doing up here tonight? Well, interestingly enough, Ruby, mm -hmm. I've been reading this book about body language. Have you? And it is absolutely fascinating how certain gestures and physical poses and attitudes can, can, can communicate specific and easily interpretable messages to the opposite sex. And now, would you explain what you're talking about? Well, exactly. Okay, for instance, for instance, this one, uh, this pose. You're right. This means I'm shy. Yeah. But well hung. Very fast. That's right. And there's this one. And that tells us that you are what? A pillock. <laughs> anyway, while Tony does that, pulls himself together, why don't you viewers at home go and get something to eat in your own kitchen? Because now it's time for Taffy Turner. Now there's an attractive woman, Ruby. <laughs> no, she isn't at all. She's much larger in real life. It's not that she has a thyroid problem. It's just she eats like a pig. <laughs> Enough about her. Here she is, Taffy the Tub Turner. Tony has decided to continue his investigation on body language. I have tried to stop him, telling him it was ridiculous, but obviously the man won't listen. He's some, some sort of a robot. This is all good, stupid. Ruby. Trust it's me, this is all good stuff. We'll just go for the basics, the fundamentals. All right. <clears throat> Lesson one. Tilting your head slightly to one side indicates that you are showing interest in your partner's conversation. I, ha I have go. to do this. Yes, do this. Tony, he is more attractive than you at this moment. Just carry on. Just carry on. That's right. If aroused, the woman will part her lips with the tongue. My tongue? <laughs> As you wish. Um, she also moistens them with saliva. Your saliva? I'll tell you what, we'll just use prawn cocktail sauce for now. There we are. No, there we are. Yeah. Oh, but this is so erotic, you see. Food is erotic, you see. No. And the tips, the tips are terribly erotic. My tips. Everybody's tips. Everybody's <laughs> tips <laughs> are so erotic. There we are. Just a bit of that. And finally, uh, lesson three, we thrust our torsos towards each other in a welcoming and open I have manner. To do that. Yes, that's right. There we are. Oh, Ooh, this is yes. working like a dream. Yes, this is good. good. All right, I'm thrusted, pointed, and moist, Tony. What do we do now? I don't know. How far did you get in the book? Uh, page two, then I dropped off. Right, okay, that's ridiculous. Well, why I can't what? believe you have the nerve to come on the show with this information. Let's <laughs> just go to the hardcore stuff. Let's go straight to the back. Oh, yes, rather. See who did it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fabulous chapter called Sex Signals from Around the World. Oh, yes. It says, in parts of Yemen, if a woman is feeling frisky, she will roll an egg at the object of her desire. She will roll an egg, an egg. at the object of her desire. Well, I, I, well, I would use a, we, we use a bread roll for now. No, don't do that to me. <laughs> I, see, I would hate if she had bad aims. You could end up engaged to the peppermint. <laughs> you see, could, this is not. A, you could do what? <laughs> some saliva off the air. <laughs> what are you doing after this show? <laughs> All right, here's, here's one. In Finland, mm. a sign of great affection is the sharing of meat. The sharing. The, sh <laughs> the sharing. Of oh, the sharing of meat. Oh, no, that, well, that, well, that's obvious. Sharing meat. I, I, I got 16 ounces of prime fillet, and it's heading towards your love oven. <laughs> The point is, the point is, you missed the point. Food is nature's great aphrodisiac. It makes me want to want to shipwreck on the rock of your lust. No. Sebum. I beg your pardon. Sebum. If a woman finds you interesting and then she's aroused, she she secretes a thing called sebum. I know oily. what sebum is. Sebum is the adolescent pus that causes acne. <laughs> If a woman finds you exciting, okay, she's a kind of a, there's a kind of a swelling there. No, that's me. No, I think no. that's me. <laughs> Surely. You know what? the English, you cannot say biological facts. Oh, yes. You cannot, an American, we come straight to the point. We say, get on first base, get them off, spread them. That's it, straight to the point. <laughs> Here, every, everything is shrouded. Everything. I tell you, you are just showing classic signs of jealousy of my English sense of reserve and politesse. Just because, <laughs> just because I, I'm not typically American and I don't come straight out with it and say, Snack on my fat one, fan. <laughs> We're just a bit more subtle, that's all. Pick, 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 that's what you do. Sniffing around, sniffing around. I know what you're... 
You're sniffing around for those kind of sexual innuendos. I know you. Anal retentive. Anal, anal retentive. Yes. Here we are. Yankee psycho babble, ladies and gentlemen. What, what, do you un I, what do you understand by anal retentive? All right, I will tell you. Sometimes I have English guests, mm. and when they get off my sofa, cushions are missing. You understand? <laughs> anal retention. Right? Anal. I feel you are not... Not the mistress of your subject, Ruby. If by anal retentiveness you mean, do I keep my anus with me? Then, <laughs> then the answer is yes, pretty much at all times. Why? I'm... English humor, it is so, it is so immature. I can't believe it. There are some species, Tony, uh -huh. in the animal kingdom who wet, well, they expose their lower panty parts when they want to say, hello, how are you? Yes, That's how they, they say, hello, how are you? Is it? Yes, they do. So, so, so how, how, how do they then say, I, I want to have sex with you? I don't know. Look it up in your stupid book. Look oh, up I, oh, in no, the book oh, no. right, how right. an animal would say, I want to have sex with you. Go on, you know. All right, baboons, baboons. Now, this is how they do. <laughs> well, that worked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at those reject tapes. Tony, let me whip your oyster.